They're coming to the quarter pole. Fully living in fifth. Skyfall has lost ground and drops back around the far turn. Spring in the air, eight lengths off the lead. Broken Spell moves to her inside, but Magical Moon, the one to catch, and Magical Moon, a two-length lead off the far turn. Tara from the Cape goes to second. Lasong is third. Spring in the air is just charging on the outside. Spring in the air, and Broken Spell tries to move with her. Spring in the air. A huge run from deep in the pack with Patrick Husbands aboard. Broken Spell to second. Spring in the air takes the Darley Alcibiades. Broken Spell was home second, then Magical Moon and Terra from the Cape. On the turf course for today's featured ninth race, the 61st running of the Grade 1 Darley Alcibiades. A Breeders' Cup Challenge race for the win in your end, Juvenile Phillies Division. Number nine, Spring in the Air, owned by John Oxley. Trained by Mark Cassie and Patrick Husbands, the jockey. Spring in the Air, a two-year-old filly by Spring at Last. From his first crop, bred in Ontario by Windstar Farm, LLC. The time for the eight and a half furlongs over the poly track, one minute, 44 and one-fifth seconds. Presenting the trophy for the Darley Alcibiades, a Breeders' Cup Challenge race, are James and Wendy Bell to the connections of spring in the air. Spring in the air with a strong stretch run takes the Darley Alcibiades, trained by Mark Cassie, ridden by Patrick Husband, 14-horse uh, field. Patrick, tell us about that trip. Actually, no, I was getting a good trip. Um, I went into the race just to follow Ramingas because I figured his horse would probably take me to like halfway down the lane and... When I reached the trailer pole, he had no horse, so I had to get from behind him and just <laughs> find my way out to the, to the lead. When you asked her to run? Yeah, you know what? From day one, she's always always a class filly. Um, what made me laugh is that all before the race, Mark come to me and started telling me about the track, and I say to Mark, stop. The only way this horse will get beat is the trainer. <laughs> <laughs> so he's pretty sharp jockey, Mark. Uh, this, this was huge. You ran one, two in the, in the Talma with this horse and Spring Venture. She comes back, Spring in the air, wins like this. You just, uh, just how wanna, good are these two? I just want to say one thing. I've been putting up with that for 15 years. <laughs> and, uh, he's won, I think, a 1,000 races for me. Right. Um, you know, I, I, we've been fortunate. We've had some good fillies in the past. And, and I, I, I did an interview yesterday, and I told him, I said, I think these two fillies um, are as good as go back to the filly ad Sealy Hill, who won a couple million dollars and was second in the Breeders' Cup. They're exceptional fillies, and it doesn't matter. I only ran them on the turf because that's what was available. And, and Patrick Fried, I went to him before the race and said, uh, you know, what do you think? And he said, it's just a matter of how far. He was right. And he rode her confidently. He <laughs> so, scared, scared the hell out of me. So congratulations, Mark Cassie. He's going to have a hot hand in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Fillies wherever you go with your two horses. Spring in the air takes the Darley Alcibiades. 